with Colorado Parks and Wildlife in the studio with us as we do every Wednesday. We appreciate you being here. Oh, he's yeah. the man. It's first funny. topic. We've shared this video, but we found out you're the one who took it. We've got a burrowing owl, but the best part of this is the way it reacted to you. Take a listen to this at home. <laughs> every time I hear it, it's, it sounds like something out of Jurassic Park. This little guy founded a car dealership in Colorado Springs. Looks like it might have flown into a window, having some trouble flying. But Joey, yeah. just talk about this rescue operation. And on top of that, what is that sound? Yeah. Um, well, it's, uh, you know, they make those noises when they're trying to scare off a predator. Oh, wow. And so they are a burrowing owl, so they live on the ground. So they do, you know, run across predators. So that's how they try to scare them away. As I walked in, he was not happy to see me. Um, I was going to get some closer photos, but he wouldn't let me get any close. I didn't want to stress him out anymore. Um, but uh, it was very cool, you know, to see him have that reaction to me. Those and, eyes. Uh, yeah, editing that video, I had to listen to that sound um, uh, quite a few times, so it's kind of burned into my head. Our viewers are hearing <laughs> yeah. it right yeah. now. It's a thing of nightmares. Something right? I've yeah. never heard before, and he's in a rehab center now. He so. is now, yes. Yeah, so. um, CBW is also rehabilitating all sorts of animals, including yeah. these little orphaned foxes, which they are just adorable. Joey says we're not allowed to bring them home as pets, but we can look at these cute photos. The little cuties, they spent the summer at CPW's Bisco Rehab Center, and at first they were actually bottle fed until they, you know, learned to kind of grow up on their own yeah. and they're able to now hunt on their own too. Yeah, yeah. So the owl before, you know, we rely heavily on our uh, volunteer wildlife rehabilitation facilities for the vast majority of rehabs. But we do have our own facility here at Frisco Creek where some of these more difficult, higher profile, um, uh, you know, rehabilitations happen. You know, it takes a lot of work to rehabilitate and raise these foxes. You know, oh. Mother Nature does it best. And when humans have to get involved, it's very difficult to, to do it successfully. A big part of that is trying to make sure they have a fear of people. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, having people raise them and then instilling that fear is really a challenge so we had to make sure after bottle feeding them to try to limit our contact as much as possible uh, give them the skills they need to be able to hunt and survive in the wild and um, we saw as we le released them they ran right away from us oh, uh, ran out, still scared of us which is exactly what we want great so work. much work goes yeah. into that it uh, really does and i mentioned this that should be a disney movie right there cpw <laughs> should be behind a disney movie getting this family of foxes back out there last topic one of my favorite topics anytime we're talking fish but when it comes down to it it's kokanee salmon am i saying that right kokanee yes yeah i don't fish often for the, <laughs> this type of salmon with their big heads but it's their spawning season Look at this. and yeah. th this is big for you guys cpw you've got a few programs tied to this yeah. uh, what do you want our viewers to know about the spawning season um well we do a lot of we have 19 fish hatcheries of the state we grow millions of fish to stock across um, across the state and to trade with other states actually but uh, the kokanee spawning operation is is a huge operation that we do every year and what's interesting with, with these kokanee is they actually die after they spawn. And so, you know, instead of letting those fish uh, just go back and go to waste, we give them away to the public. Um, it does require a fishing license. Um, so have a fishing license and go to one of the hatcheries that uh, are raising kokanee. Most of them are kind of on the west slope. The closest one is in Gunnison. Uh, first giveaway October 11th. That's coming and up. So that'll be every Friday. But we've got some information on our website about that, um, so you can see the schedule and figure out if there's a place that that you want to go and just get some free salmon and take them home for you. And that was a really cool video, by the way. That's so epic. Yeah. Joey, you are awesome. He's going to be off for a couple of weeks, so we're going to miss him. But if you've got questions for Joey, please reach out to us. If you want more info from CPW, you can check out their new website. I've got a link, kktv.com. Just click to find it. Thanks so much, Joey. Yeah, thanks.